22nd century, it's an era of peace and harmony throughout the universe. From outer space, ruthless aliens from a dying solar system attack planet Earth to make it their own. For mankind, there is one hope, a top secret weapon, a ship that can fight the invaders on the seas or in space, a super ship codenamed Thundersun. Tempest Jr. has engaged the enemy. Thunder Sub will now move in to attack from the rear. Establish position at S-98. Aye, aye, Captain. Right away. Aboard Tempest Jr. We're losing power. We don't have a chance. Skipper, request permission to use diving gear. Why? What do you want to do? Remove whatever it is that's wrapped around the hull. What? You're dreaming. Colin, if you go out now, you might never come back. I'm zigzagging to avoid attack. We could lose you. But Chris, we have to do something. It's just a matter of time before they finish us off. Skipper, what do you say? I don't like it, but it's our only chance. I'll be ready to go in no time. Colin, I'm going with you. So am I, Colin, so am I. No, I'm going alone. I'm grateful for the offer, but you all have important duties on board ship. Have it your way, Colin, but be careful. Good luck, Colin. The oxygen tanks are ready to go. Good. Colin? Don't worry, Anna. I'll finish the job and be back before you know it. Be careful, Colin. of them. Position S-80. Prepare to fire anti-aircraft missiles. Roger, sir. Anti-aircraft missiles armed and ready. Targeted for position S-80. Fire! Warship refuses to die. Give her everything you've got. Man your battle stations. We're going up to help Tempest Jr. Main tanks blown, Captain. Auxiliary engines at full power. 100 meters from surface. 90, 80, 
70, 60, 50, 40, 30. Open flight deck now, Spencer. 20, aye, aye, Captain. Approaching surface zero. now. Thunder sub surfacing, sir. Artillery arm, Captain. Fighters prepared for takeoff, sir. Captain, all forces ready for counterattack. Excellent. Get those fighters airborne at once. Attention all aircraft, enemy squadron on our tail, engage and destroy! Warships. All fighters, lure the enemy warship back to our base immediately. They're on the run, sir. Looks like they're headed back to their base. Call all fighters back to Thundersub. We'll head for their base as well. Ultra course to 081. Aye, aye, sir. 081. Enemy fighters, dead ahead, 10 kilometers. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Come in, Admiral. I have lured the enemy warship within 30 sonics of our base. Excellent. Time for Operation Whirlpool. Yes, Admiral. If you fire the polymerization catalyzer at once, we'll be rid of that warship for good. Attention. Prepare to fire Whirlpool. Target enemy warship. Whirlpool being prepared and targeted, sir. Fire! out there. The sea just opened up beneath us, sir. Impossible! Skipper, it's Thundersub. She seems to have disappeared. There's no trace of her. What? She just disappeared from my screen. Try to contact her at once. Yes, sir. Thundersub, do you read me? Thunder sub, come in. All fighters, prepare for final attack.
Don't worry. She can't hold out much longer. Keep after her and fire at will. Fire the pinwheel laser spray. They're coming in again. I'll try, Captain, but Thundersub's been hit pretty hard already. We're taking off water. If we hit bottom, could we pull out of this? Impossible, sir. The impact would shatter what's left of our rotors. We can only go up. Let's hope we've got enough power to make it up. Fire main rocket boosters. Fire main rocket boosters. Attacking an unidentified target. Must be Thundersub, sir. Prepare to fire missiles. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead, Skipper. All missiles armed and prepared. Fire missiles. Okay, over the top. You can do it. Our entire squadron lost. We've underestimated their power. Sir, Thunder Sub is surfaced. She's all right. Yes, and she's headed for that plant. Full speed ahead to back up her attack. Aye, aye, sir. Enemy heavy water plant straight ahead, distance five kilometers. Good. Stop all engines. Prepare to fire the anti-proton gun. Begin anti-proton firing procedure. Shut down all electronic equipment. All energy sources must be inactive. Utilize auxiliary lighting systems. Disconnect all weapon circuits from mainframe panel. Electronic equipment shut down. Shut down reactor. Reactor shut down, sir. Thunder Sub has stopped moving. Put her on the screen. Roger. They're preparing the anti proton gun. The what, Skipper? Thunder Sub's most powerful weapon. Put the enemy heavy water plant up on the screen. Yes, sir. Skipper, look at the enemy guns! They're taking aim at Thundersub, but she's not reacting. She can't. All weapon systems have been shut down to fire the anti-proton gun. But that'll take another 10 seconds. Prepare to fire missiles. Target enemy laser guns, heavy water plant. Missiles armed and ready, sir. Captain Noah, Tempest Jr. has destroyed the enemy lasers in the nick of time. Stand by to activate Proton Booster. Proton Booster on standby. Proton Booster, A-OK. -okay. Corpuscular Polarity Converter, stand by. On standby. Position anti-proton firing pad, target enemy heavy water plant, distance seven kilometers.
override anti-proton gun safety circuits. Commence final countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire. Unbelievable. They've annihilated our plant completely. The Earthlings will pay for this. Congratulations, Thunder Team. Your courageous conduct made victory possible. Today, you have earned the right to be considered official members of the Thunder Sub crew. And you will be assigned ranks and positions accordingly. However, you must not let today's success distract you from your duties. The Death Force of Gotham will not be defeated easily. I count on your continued devotion and support. That is all. This warship really so powerful, or did you simply bungle the operation, Zogel? Our battle plan was executed perfectly, Governor. They were too powerful. Admiral Zogel is not to blame, Governor. He warned you several times, as I did, that this warship posed a grave threat. If you had listened to our warnings, we could have gathered a force strong enough to rid ourselves of this deadly warship forever. Instead, we've suffered a crushing defeat. How dare you address me so disrespectfully? I am the ruler of this planet. But not the ruler of Death Force. You must arrange an audience with the Supreme Commander for Admiral Zogel. Out of the question. That's not necessary. Colonel, what are you doing? That's the hotline to General Z himself. What is it, Gulf? Uh, uh, forgive me, Your Excellency. Your Excellency. I am Colonel Lupus, Task Force Commander of the Pacific Arena. I assume you have been informed of our disastrous defeat, sir? I have. Gulf made a full report. The Earthlings' warship is a formidable foe, sir. If we are to eliminate it, we must construct a seagoing carrier large enough to face it in battle and fast enough to track it down wherever it ventures. Colonel Lupus, are you aware that no officer below the rank of General is allowed to speak to me in person? Sir, I'll face execution gladly. If you will grant my request, it is our only hope. You're a brave man, Colonel, and your proposal is sound. You'll have your ship. Thank you, sir. Gulf, give this man whatever he requires to complete this project. Bah! I want this warship destroyed. Mm. So you are Flight Lieutenant Domingo and you came from Bermuda? Yes, Captain, from Research Station N9. I was sent to inform you that construction of the aero conversion engine has almost been completed. Thunder Sub is to report to N9 at once. I flew to Station N1 to relay this message, but you had already set sail. Yes, and unfortunately for you, Lieutenant, the invaders found you before we did. But after all, we should be thankful we found you at all, I suppose, shouldn't we? Thank you. You've brought us some very important news indeed. Yes, once we've installed the aero conversion engine, Thunder Sub will be capable of space travel. But Lieutenant, we thought Station N9 was destroyed in the attack. No, it survived the attack. We set out at once.
During her voyage to Bermuda, the Thunder sub crew repairs the damage inflicted by the Death Force invaders. Captain Noah and the Thunder team know only too well that General Z's gigantic satellite, Terror Star, poses the greatest threat to the survival of mankind in all his troubled history. Who knows what horrific weapons the Death Force brings with them from a dead planet far off in space? Who can tell what will satisfy Colonel Lupus's thirst for revenge? The warriors of Thunder Sub can only fight on and pray that someday, somehow, they can conquer the evil invaders who wish to make the Earth their own. <laughs>